Welcome to the American Rambler with your host, Paul Grafton. Okay, we're going to be talking about the Ohio Springfield um, eating pets and cats case. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, this is uh, not true. Uh, true. Um, why did the mayor or city manager say uh, this didn't happen? Uh, for one reason. Um, it is this politics or it's the politics of um, law enforcement. Uh, now, I'm coming from this as somebody that has experienced being a victim. Now, one thing you should know is one, the police, not the prosecutor, decides whether or not your case moves forward. Two, the police are encouraged to have you say, I want this filed as an information report, or they try and convince you that you don't have a choice in the matter. Because information reports do not count as crime statistics. One of my things was that I had a kayak stolen from my place of residence. What the police said, well, we can't do anything for you. if We can just take an information report. Therefore, this was not listed as a theft. I learned later that it was actually my choice that I could go there and say, no, you file this as a theft because that is what it was. It was a theft. Also, when you get to the prosecutor's office, the ones that they do actually file, they've, look for the cases that they can win. One of the things they look for is, does this person have an attorney? If he doesn't, is it being supplied by the, um, by the public? You know, whatever it is. They will not go after cases such as arson because it's very hard for them to prove. Any case that is too difficult for them So, uh, like Heels Up does, she went after all these um, people that were just minding their own business, smoking their, um, and then also um, the three or four, the professional ones versus the amateur ones, which I kind of like to um, give out this Rodney Dangerfield joke. the sex you get for free is a lot more expensive than the sex that you pay for. Um, so that's another thing that they uh, go after. See, they like going after things where it is easy for them to convict. Because usually if you're on the street, you don't have money for a... Uh, for a uh, defense attorney, a good one. So you get a defense attorney that is uh, trying to plea bargain because he doesn't want to ruin his reputation uh, because he might want to run for politics or he doesn't. So... So they are not trying to get you the best deal. Also, attorneys have to see judges on a a constant basis. So they also have to play nice. So the reason why they are trying to convince people that this is not happening in Springfield, Ohio, is all politics. They want to look hard on crime 
while also saying it is a very safe city. And, you know, the prosecutor, oh, she's always wins these cases. You know, she had 1,400 out of uh, 1,500 cases convictions, but all the convictions were of uh, the 420 stop. You know, and the 420 and the 304 stuff. But none of it was for actual crimes like robbery, arson, or uh, violence. Uh, You know, and also, they want to look at you. They want to see, do you make a sympathetic victim? Or do you make a, a good ogre? for lack of a better word. So here's the situation. The police will try and convince you to only file an information report, which means now they don't have to do an investigation. Okay. But if they feel that uh, the prosecutor can win the case, they will move it forward to the prosecutor. That's why it's very good to have cameras in and outside of your home. Okay. And then the prosecutor then will also look at it and see if um, they have to go to court or will you take a plea if we reduce the sentencing guidelines. Uh, so this makes the, uh, so your defense, your public defense attorney will try and convince you to take the plea, then rather fight the case because that is more work for the same amount of money. Okay. This has been Paul Grafton with the, uh, American Rambler.